Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a really good day. I'm having a pretty good day. I got my hair cut today and I'm looking pretty good. I, I like it. I like it. Nathan's in school. He will be home soon. So I thought that I would do a little guide for all of you guys who have not yet already seen a guide on how to do this. Um, anyway, but guys, before we get into the video, before we get into the video, do not forget to leave a like on it because, you know, it helps me out and also you guys are awesome that way. Let's see if we can hit, let's see, like 500 likes or something like that. That seems appropriate. I don't know. But uh, if we could hit 500 likes, that would absolutely make my day. So thank you very, very much. Um, but anyway, today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually encounter a Celebi in Pokemon Brick Bronze. This is like, yeah, you can actually get Celebi. I know a lot of you guys already know this, but still, you know, we're going to be doing a guide. So, anyway, I've just actually beat the 8th gym, I think it is there, right there. That's where the 8th gym is, that's the ghost type gym. And I just beat it, and it was really easy. I thought it was pretty cool. And if you haven't already beat it yet, then make sure to go over to my channel, because I actually have a guide on how to do it. So, yeah, very easy. I beat it within a couple of minutes. Um, But anyway... So, once we've actually beat the 8th gym, and we have the 8th gym badge, we just look up in the top right hand corner there, you can see I have the little, uh, the little pirate ship wheel kind of thing. Um, so what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go to menu, Pokemon, and we're also gonna fly down all the way to Laguna Lake, that's the one, Laguna Lake. So we need to go to Laguna Lake to do this little guide. And uh, once here, I'm just gonna go in here really quickly and heal my Pokemon because all of them got fainted from uh, the last battle. Will I like to rest my Pokemon? No, just in case you guys don't already know, if you click no in the Pokemon Center, it still revives all of your Pokemon. It's, it's kind of a cool little glitch kind of thing. Um, but once we're here in Laguna Lake, we want to punch this guy in the face. Look at him. Look at him. He's so snobby. Why are you looking like that, man? Um, no, but seriously, we're going to go towards the daycare center and turn left towards the route beforehand. As you can see, it's this one right here. Here's the route extender. And uh, once we're inside, we're going to go past this lady here. How you doing, chick? You're looking fan. Sexy fan. Um, once we're here, we'll be on Route 7. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago explaining about this dude inside this little area right here who actually is going to give us something after we defeat him. So we're going to go inside the Bidoof Dam um, Woodworks, I guess I'm going to call it. I had the Timber Mill. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this dude right here and he says, well, look who's back. Our trained friend from before. I do apologize again for the trouble my workers caused you. I see that you have Roria's eight gym badges. That must make you a very strong trainer, right? I happen to be a trainer myself. Would you be interested in having a battle? If you win, I'll let you have something I found recently while I was out. Yeah, of course, man. Awesome. I can tell this is going to be a good battle. Okay, so this is the dude that we're going to fight. Um, and his name is Lumberjack Josh. He looks like a pretty cool dude. I'm loving the uh, domino thingy things on his head. And he's got a foot or two or less. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so I guess that we're just going to Dragon Claw him. I don't know if that's like a proper move to do on this dude. No, it's, it's really not. Okay, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I don't know what this dude's weak to. Um, excuse me, guys, because I'm such a noob at battling in this game. I was always about collecting all the Pokemon, not, like, battling them and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, Salman used their flamethrower, and he is now defeated. So let's go, bro. Tell me what else you've got. Come forward me. Come on. Give me some other Pokemon. Bye, Sharp. Okay, we're not going to switch this Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure that flamethrower is still going to work on this dude. I think. I hope. I hope. I hope. I think. Come on. Will it? And yeah, that wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. Oh, and he got burned. You got burned, son. Okay, so uh, he's gonna use Psycho Cut. That's that's an okay little move. Okay, and there you go. He lost some of his HP. He fainted. Bring on your next Pokemon, bro. Come on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, broski? Okay, so Hoopla grew to level 66. Yay! And um, let's see, he's gonna send out Pinsir. I'm not gonna switch out because I will use a Flamethrower once again because Pinsir is a bug type Pokemon. You know, guys, you know how it is. Um, okay, so Pinsir lost some of its HP because it, it used an attack like that. And have we took it out? No! Ah, oh, no, 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 it's so close. Okay, let's uh, use Dragon Claw, I think, just to kind of get its, get its health down, I guess. Ah, oh, no! We got defeated! 
but it lost on its HP, so it's okay anyway. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is, let's see what he's going to send out. Let's see if it tells me. Um, okay, my Gal Okay, I'm just going to dra drag out my Charizard, because it's like the second highest level I have. And uh, a Haxorus. Okay, so we're now going to use... Um, I do not even have any Dragon type moves. I think it's weak to Dragon. I don't know. I'm going to use a Fly anyway. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry about this, guys, because I'm such a noob, I swear to God, I'm such a noob at this game. It's unbelievable. Um, I don't know, I'm really sorry. Um, okay, so that, that, did it do anything to it, or no? Did it even do anything? Did I fly? Oh, there you go, now I'm flying. Now I'm flying, broskies. Okay, this is good, this is good. Uh, the opposing Haxorus use Earthquake. It doesn't affect Charizard because I'm not even there anyway. I'm not even there anyway. Nah, nah. Okay, I'm um, gonna try a Flamethrower. Let's see what happens when we do that. Hopefully it'll do something good. Come on. I don't think it will though, but let's try it. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Okay, good, good, cool, 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 cool. Okay, right. I'm really loving all these trainer battles, by the way. Like, I'm getting so much EXP from them. It's unbelievable how awesome this is to rebattle everyone. Uh, so the barrel, uh, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do nothing. I would have thought it'd be like a, a, a shiny one or something, or maybe a rainbow one or something like that. Maybe you'll have a Bidoof that's like shiny or rainbow or something. I don't know. That'd be pretty interesting. Come on, flamethrower. Let's see, I'm sure the battle is like a water type Pokemon, but it's okay. It's okay. The sunlight is strong. The sunlight is strong, guys. And Aqua Jet, it's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, it's okay though. Don't worry about it. And uh, come on, what else we got here? We got a Thunderous. Yeah, let's send out our Thunderous. Let's try this. Okay, so we got Thunderous. And um, let's see, fight. I'm gonna use Dark Pulse. I don't know if this is gonna hurt it or not. Let's see, there you go, yeah. Okay, we've only got one more to go, guys, okay? And I hope that you guys sail through this fight as quick as you can. Because, yeah, obviously, everyone wants... Everyone wants um, a thingy. Everyone wants a Celebi, guys. I'm telling you. Right, so Thunder. Come on. Oh, no. He's got a Mega Stone. Oh, no. What is, like, Scissor's, like, Mega Scissor vulnerable to? What is it vulnerable to? It's like a bug and what? A bug and... Fighting or something? I don't know. Ah, oh, I don't know what like this Pokemon's weak to at all. I don't know. But I'm gonna try really quickly a Dark Pulse and see if that works because I know that Dark Pulse hits quicker than my uh, my, than my Thunder. And it used Roost, of course it did. Oh Jesus. Okay, fight Thunder again. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Okay, and we can try. Oh, and it's paralyzed. Yes. Come on. Hit yourself in paralyzation. I don't really know. I forget what paralyze does. I, I I think it stops it from moving or something like that sometimes. Okay, thunder. And there you go, guys. We just beat the dudes. We beat Lumberjack Billy. I don't know his name. I forgot it already. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Okay, so let's see. I got cut down by my opponent. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is he says, You and your Pokemon did an excellent job in that battle. My Pokemon and I battle trainers so that we can be stronger as a team and ultimately become better woodcutters. Anyway, I made a promise to you that I would share something with you. So this is something I've come to call a GS ball. I found it when I was cutting trees on Route 9. I don't know what its purpose is, but it looks very nice. I want you to take it as a gift. Obtain the GS ball. Okay, so there you go. Now, in case... Uh, wait there. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get these workers back in shape. Okay, so if you guys don't already know, the GS ball is actually a ball that you use to catch Celebi. And I don't exactly know why you need, a, like, a ball for that. But what we're going to do is go to Rose Cove City. And before I actually, like, get there, um, I think it's because Celebi is, like, the time travel Pokemon or something. And it keeps it in a solid state or something. Maybe that's, like, that's the way I'm thinking of it anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That just, that just might be me. Um, but if any of you guys know exactly why you need a special ball to catch Celebi, I would love to know. I would genuinely love to know. Let us check it, actually, what it looks like. Let's see, Pokeballs. So, oh, 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 it's a key item. It's a key item. Okay, so there it is. It's like a goldy looking Pokeball. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go to Route 9, which is just down here. And, um... Unfortunately for us, Celebi is not a resettable Pokemon because it is a mythical and it flees after you find it. Um, so basically, you got, you're going to have to go and roam it for it in the wild. But honestly, if I can get on my second account and try and find as many Pokemon as I can, as many Celebis as I can, I'll do a huge Celebi giveaway 
in the next couple of days or next week or two, depending on how many I get. Hopefully I'll get a lot, but you never know, I might not, I don't know. Um, we'll see about it anyway, we'll see about it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very end over here. And uh, guys, do you remember this thing right here? Well, this is kind of where Celebrity's little thing is. And if we just kind of click it right now, it says it's an odd looking shrine. The GS ball is glowing in your bag, which we don't have a bag, which I don't know. But nothing happened. But look at that. Look at Celebrity He's just floating there. And then he just goes or it just goes. Celebi. Where did you go? Why do you leave me like this? Jesus, Celebi! Um, but anyway, guys, that is pretty much a guide on how to get Celebi in Pokemon Brick Bronze. It's very simple to do, but I thought that I would still make a guide because I love making guide videos for you all. And, uh, you know, I, lo I just love making guides. That's it. Wait, can I still do this glitch? I don't think I can still do this glitch. Any, any of you guys remember this glitch? I don't think I ever made a tutorial on it, but it'd be pretty cool to do now, I guess. I don't know. Watch this. So, like, you grab here and then... Ah, oh, no. Okay, maybe maybe you can't do it anymore. Maybe you can't do it. Yeah, I don't think you can do it anymore. I used to be able to get up there and then get up there on top of these trees and stuff like that. Um, well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like on the video. And also, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, go and subscribe. Because, like I said, if I get enough Celebes, I will do a Celebi giveaway in the next couple of weeks or next week or two. Um, but anyway, guys, have an awesome day. And until next time... I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.